This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with Empire Fight Store. Delighted to be joined by the new British and Commonwealth champion, Sean McGoldrick. Just how good does that feel? Oh, it feels amazing. Um, I, 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 I haven't taken it in yet. It's just been, it's been such a hard few months. And then to get to here tonight and just like all the way through the fight, we just focused. We had tactics to work on. Um, I, I, I kept focused on that. Didn't really divert away from it. Um, yeah, and I'm just just happy to get them belts at the end, man. That was just a crazy feeling. Can't really explain it. I'm on top on top of the world. I like, can't believe it. Excuse me. Just firstly, before I ask on the performance itself, what do you make of the scorecards? I think 118, 110, 117, 111, and 114, yeah, yeah. 114. Your, your thoughts on the card? Um, yeah, I thought I, I thought two, two two of them were good. I thought 114, 140 was a little bit unfair. Um, I could I could see some some close scrappy rounds and stuff like that, um, where, where maybe it could have been a little bit closer, but I. I didn't. I didn't think. I didn't think it was 140, 114, but, but yeah. Oh. yeah that's good. I love you, my boy. Ah, you're the man, dude. Thank you very much, Tom. The opportunity you took. Yes, yeah, sir. He's a lovely fella, is he? <laughs> he is, isn't he? I, 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 and, and listen, he, see, he said to me months and months ago he's going to get me a British, British title shot, and he delivered. Obviously, it was up to me to, to, to do oh, the job yeah, tonight yeah. and stuff like that. But, but listen, the. The amount of work that goes into this is unbelievable, and like, I re like the the amount of work we've done in the gym with Jamie and Nigel is just like I'm so grateful and so lucky to have them people with me on my team. Um, they're, they're the best of the best. I can like, there's nothing I can say which could express how grateful I am to, the, to them. There's nothing I could ever do to repay them, um, regardless if I won their belts tonight or, or not. Just how they've helped me and sort of helped me through my you know, career so far and stuff like that. So I'm very, very lucky. And um, and yeah, they're, they're amazing people. And, I, and I'm blessed to have a great family as well who support me. And I just fell on top of the world, to be honest. I'm just talking rubbish here. Oh, good on you, mate. Good <laughs> on you. Mate, you've just, just won British rubbish. and Commonwealth title. Talk as much rubbish as you want. Um, on the performance itself, is it what you expected in there? How do you assess? Um, yeah, yeah. So, so, so we expected, we expected like a tricky sort of scale and we expected him to sort of um, be awkward, um, a lot of a lot of scrappy on the inside and stuff like that. Um, he, he improved on a few things from from when I've seen him previously, um, which is credit to him. Um, good fire, um, um, yeah. And um, from from my point of view, like I, I, I'm struggling to think about his performance because we've been so focused on, on what I had to do, and and it was a weird feeling in that because. Jamie, just every time I was going back to the corner, just reminding me of all these things he's been drilling for the last three months, um, probably four months, probably is probably been for a lot longer than that, different things, but the tactics of this fight has been the last sort of three months, and he's just been drilling that into me, so like, as soon as he's saying it to me, as soon as I've gone back to the corner, just like second nature, and I was just thinking of what I had to do. Um, I think he switched stance in like the third, I think it was, to save Paul. That threw me off for like half of the round or something, and as soon as I got back to the corner, Jamie had a couple of words, and then... Uh, yeah, we just adjusted and then got back to um, how the fight was going. Um, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm sure celebrations are incoming, but next for you, are you sort of wanting to get yourself on a... I know this was sort of a hometown show tonight and you had all the fans there and they were really loud, but do you want to get on a big promotional sort of... I know Joe Cordina's is fighting, yeah. that would be a great undercard to get on. Um, I suppose, yeah, the, the, the sky's the limit now. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. Um, you know, I'm going to enjoy tonight. Um, and I've... I've, I've yeah, just going to enjoy tonight, celebrate with my team, my family, my friends, all, the, all that amazing crowd that came out tonight to support me. They were, they were unreal. Like, they, they were, that was amazing. Like, I mean, that was a special moment for me there tonight, and I'll never forget it, um, which is all credit to them. Um, and whatever happens next, happens next. Um, I'm not putting no pressure on nothing. Um, I'll sit down with my team in a few weeks and see, see where we go. Sean, on a personal level, I'd like to congratulate you. It's nice seeing just how much it means to you. You're clearly a man who loves the sport so much and speaks very well on the sport. And also seeing the relationship that you've got with Jamie, Nigel and the rest of the guys. Congratulations to you and the first of many, I hope. Thank you, my man. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Congratulations, brother. Cheers,